Hello, my name is Nell, and I have things to say. I've been on a bit of a hiatus from YouTube, um, well, from life in general, from everything. I've had a lot going on. I've been really overwhelmed. I had major computer issues that's fixed. I had my computer um, replaced. I've been still having further fights and arguments with the NDIS and with service providers. That's just part of the course at the moment. And I've also taken on new, two new support workers. And that ties into what I want to talk about today, which is how my approach to having workers has changed over the past two and a half years. So I've been receiving formal care from outside support workers for two and a half years. Until then, my mother was my carer. And that's something that I'd love to talk about sometime with the, the unbalanced relationship that happens when you're an adult and yet you become a dependent on your parent and it's, it's all kinds of messy and I'm gonna I'm gonna go into that one day but yeah I've been receiving this formal care from like hired support workers through my NDIS funding for two and a half years and I was thinking as I've as I've taken on these two new workers I've been thinking about how much I've changed in my approach to handling workers to interacting with them to communicating with them in in that time looking at how I've handled it now compared to how I handled it two and a half years ago. So two and a half years ago, I, when I started, I didn't really feel like I could speak up much. If a worker was just doing something in a way that I didn't really like, but it wasn't necessarily affecting my safety or, or my actual care, the quality of my care, I didn't say anything. And I think I had this feeling that I ought to be grateful for absolutely anything. And if I showed any kind of displeasure or if I complained in any way, or even if I just offered any kind of criticism, I thought that that would make me look ungrateful. And I did not want to look ungrateful. And I think there's a bit of a culture about that where if you are in a position where you are receiving something basically for, for free, um, like from the government or something, there's a bit of a culture where people expect you to just sort of be grateful. And I think I've really internalized that and thought, well, I'm so, I'm just so blessed that they're here helping me at all, helping this poor disabled person that I probably shouldn't bring up anything. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with them. I'll just, I'll just let them do their thing. And unless it's really going to really, really hurt me, I'm not going to say anything. But that meant that I kind of let bad habits sit in. And the sort of things I'm talking about aren't huge things, but they affected my level of comfort, I guess, um, and peace. So things like the tone of voice that people would use or times when they would speak to me, but I didn't really want to be spoken to. I want to just, just sort of be left alone or um, things like wearing perfumes and, and scents and things like that. I just didn't say anything. With my first workers, I, I barely spoke to them in the first six months because I was so traumatized by needing care that I didn't want to engage. And so I kind of put a lot of things, I just internalized a lot of things that I was uncomfortable with and I thought, well, if it's not affecting my care, I shouldn't say anything because that would be mean and that would be rude. And then I realized they're in my home. My home is their workplace. And while they are under the policies and the rules from their employer, while they're in my home, I have every right to speak up. I have every right to say, hey, could you just do that a little bit differently? Even just like, hey, I don't like the way that you're folding my socks. Can you fold them a different way? Hey, when you put my clothes away, could you like make sure they're not inside out? Could you like do that? Um, hey, could you use a little bit less shampoo and condition on my hair? It's, it's literally those things, those sort of little things that I was just not saying anything about because I didn't want to seem like I was ungrateful. And then over time I realized, you know what, that is part of my care. Me feeling comfortable and happy with how things are done, my preferences, that's an important part of my care. And so to look at it back then, when I took so long to say anything, compared to now, I'm really proud of where I am. Because I have these, I have these two, two new workers and one of them um, came to work and she was wearing a lot of perfume. 
And in the past, I would have just not said anything, maybe thought about it and just thought about it at three o'clock in the morning for six months before mentioning it, thinking, I don't want to hurt their feelings. That would be really rude. Anyway, this lady, I said to her, hey, um, if you're wearing perfume, could you wear a little bit less of whatever scent you're wearing? Because I have asthma and I'm very sensitive to smells and I'm just, yeah, I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. And she took it on board because I said, you're not going to get stinky in this job. Like... It's literally looking after me in the little cottage. You're not going to build up a sweat. You, you don't really need that. And she now keeps it in her car so that she can put it on for when she goes to wherever she goes after here. Um, and even things like, you know, when I'm saying, hey, you forgot to do this. Can you please do that? I'm not scared of asking that anymore. It sounds silly to think that I was ever scared of that, but I'm quite a timid person in a lot of ways. I'm, I'm not very assertive. Um... But I've had to learn that in my house, if they're here to help me keep my house the way I want, then I'm allowed to tell them what I want. Because otherwise they can't keep the house and me the way I want. And it defeats the purpose of the whole thing. So when somebody's, you know, doing something in a different way, I'll just say, hey, could you just, could you make my tea slightly stronger? That's not actually going to hurt anyone's feelings. It's okay for me to say, I want my tea stronger while you're in my house. When you make me a cup of tea, please make it stronger. And it seems silly to think about how nervous I used to get <laughs> mentioning things like that but I thought I just want to be grateful I'll just take what I'm given and I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to I don't want to seem ungrateful it's just interesting it's just interesting the attitude that I came into it with and then the attitude that I have now where I'm this is a workplace and I'm the boss and what I say goes and if they're here to help me the only way they can do that is if I am vocal about what I want. And I think part of it as well is that I have had so many workers now. I've got three workers that have been here. Um, no, two workers that have been with me since the very beginning. And then over the course of the two and a half years, I've probably met about probably a dozen workers. I've had, you know, around 10 on my team. Some have left and so I've got new people. And I've realized that for the rest of my life, I'm going to have care. The rest of my life, I'm going to have people coming into my home and helping me. And if I don't get vocal about what I want, that's a whole lifetime of discomfort and a lack of peace. And it's just not worth it. It is just not worth it. And I've become less inclined to just make people comfortable. I'm, I'm less inclined to be polite just to make somebody else comfortable and then put myself out when they are literally being paid to help me. I just got to keep that in mind. They are here and they're getting paid. So I have every right to speak up and, and you know, ex like explain what I want. So yeah, I've just found that really interesting. I found it really healthy, like showing personal growth that now that somebody comes in if they're doing something I don't like, I nip it in the bud and I say, hey, I'd prefer it if you did it this way. And I'm still polite about it. I'm not going to be draconian. I'm not going to be a dictatorship here. But I feel very happy that I can speak up. Because if you went to a restaurant and you paid good money for a meal and you didn't get what you paid for, you're allowed to say, hey, I asked for something different. Can you fix this up? There's nothing wrong with that. When somebody's getting paid to meet your needs, it's okay to tell them your needs. <laughs> they need to know that. So yeah, I'm really happy with me, with, with myself and my self growth. And I feel like every time I get a new worker, I'm getting more streamlined in nip and thins in the bud so that I'm, I'm getting the best care that I can possibly get and that I'm creating, keeping up this, this feeling of comfort in my home. That's all for now. Bless.